least favorite thing you've done in your career? Being uh, being a PA for as long as I was <laughs> uh, was not a positive experience. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's like a, a particular time in that that was just a nightmare. Um, I mean. Yeah, uh, yeah. The whole thing was just kind of a drag. What do you What do you say to somebody who's stuck in a PA job? I would say don't give up. Uh, just keep doing everything you can outside of that job to uh, make yourself visible on some level, and know that it will not last forever. So at some point, that's going to be over with. What you'll either die or find a way out, and both will be a better <laughs> thing than what you're doing. But yeah, See, just funny. be nice to every. I mean, like as a PA, just like do the best job you can with that, and be as nice to everyone around you as you can, and hope for the best. See, that's funny because I feel like I would love being a PA just because I would love being around it. But at the same time, as an actor, I feel like I wouldn't be able to audition at all, which sucks. But sure. It, but I would think that it, it would be fun for a bit, at least a bit. It would be. Yeah, I guess I, to be I in mean, that it's world. Just like grunt work. So if yeah. you're okay with grunt work, it's fine. But. It's also, after a while, it's just like, oh, what am I as a person? Sure. Like, it wears down on you. Let me ask you this. Uh, as a Kimmel super fan, sure. I know Ray Romano was just on, and they did a yes. bit about how his son has been a PA yes. for, I believe, two and a half years sure. on Kimmel. Did you write that? I did not write that. But I will, I will say his son's very polite and a great worker. <laughs> Matt, Roman, R- Matt Romano is uh, always a pleasure to have to work with. <laughs> I'm shocked you didn't write great. that. Uh, it I seems like you're I should have. written from experience but, fodder. Uh, yeah. 